VA came together and created about 13, 14 years ago. And uh, we're here today to honor you and, and your service to our country. And uh, so first of all, Mr. Townsend, I'm going to have Michelle read a, a thing written about we, what is a veteran. Okay, what is a veteran? Some veterans bear visible signs of their service. A missing limb, a jagged scar, or maybe a certain look in the eye. Others may carry physical evidence inside of them. A pin holding a bone together, a piece of shrapnel in the leg, or perhaps another sort of inner steel. The kind that is forged in the refinery of combat. Except in parades, however, the men and women who have kept America safe wear no badge or emblem. You can't tell a vet just by looking. What is a vet? He's the cop on the beat who spent six months in Saudi Arabia sweating two gallons a day, making sure the armored personnel carriers didn't run out of fuel. He is the barroom loudmouth, dumber than five wooden planks, whose immature behavior is outweighed a hundred times by four hours of exquisite bravery near the 38th parallel in Korea. She or he is the nurse who fought against utility and went to sleep sobbing every night for two solid years in Danae. He is the POW who went away one person and came back another. He is the Paris Island drill instructor who has never seen combat but has saved countless lives by turning slouchy good-for-nothings and gang members into <laughs> Marines and teaching them to watch others' backs. He is the parade-riding legionnaire who pins on his ribbons and medals with a prosthetic hand. He is the career quartermaster who watches the ribbons and medals pass him by. He is associated with the three anonymous heroes in the Tomb of the Unknowns, whose presence at the Arlington National Cemetery must forever preserve the memory of all the anonymous heroes whose valor dies unrecognized with them on the battlefield or in the ocean's sunless deep. He's the old guy bagging groceries at the supermarket, palsied now and aggravatingly slow, who helped liberate a Nazi death camp and who wishes all day long that his wife were still alive to hold them, hold him when nightmares come. He or she is an ordinary and yet extraordinary human being, someone who offered some of their life's most vital years of service for others and became a better person because of it. Okay, um, Mr. Townsend, uh, we're, we're going to do the pinning ceremony now, and. Uh, I, Linda, did you want to do the thing? I, you know, with my situation, I try not to do this. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I prefer a family, and I don't, want to, I don't want to stick Mr. Townsend. You might do better than her. Well, you know, I'm going to ask you. Um, he has a hat here, and maybe I could put it on his hat with his other pins. Would yep. that be okay? Whatever, whatever you would like to do is fine. Yeah, okay. Or would you like it on his shirt? No. On his hat, that's where he'd like it. We, we, honor, we honor you, Mr. Townsend, and we thank you so much for your service. And as a Marine myself, uh, you were the people, the, the, the men that I looked up to when I was in training and wanting to become a Marine myself. And I did my service in Vietnam, and uh, due to some head injuries, I, I lost my sight. But, but I'm, I'm here today to honor you because you were those special people in my young life that I looked up to and I honored, and I just wanted to be a small part of what you were able to do. In, in, in those battles in the Pacific, I read and I read and I read and I read a lot about those battles in the Pacific. And I know what all you fine men did there in the Pacific and, and saved our nation from the loss in World War II. So thank you so much, Mr. Townsend. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Michelle read the certificate that is given along with this pen to honor your service to our country. All right, proud and peaceful. We appreciate our veterans. Wayne Townsend, United States Marine Corps, we pay special tribute to you for your military service to America and for advancing the universal hope of freedom and liberty for all. And next I'd like to read um, uh, the World War II pinning narrative. Wayne Townsend, it is with honor that these words are spoken to you. 
Some time ago, you stood up, raised your right hand, and took an oath. That oath contained the words to protect and defend. You wore a crisp uniform and were held to a higher standard. As you and your inductees began a necessary training designed for rapid acquisition of Marine Air Force traditions, customs, and procedures, you became known as GIs. GIs have always been asked to face danger and, if necessary, stand in harm's way. Unforgettable and haunting experiences are commonly associated with actions taken in defending our country against all enemies. But along with the painful and sad memories, there is also a positive legacy. Veterans typically are proud to have worn a uniform that stood for something larger than themselves, and consequently feel that they become better for it. Recognition for all you have endured is well deserved, and your contribution is gratefully acknowledged. You may wear this veteran tip. <laughs> God bless you, mister. I thank you so much for, for your service to our country and setting the examples for those of us who followed after you, sir. And I will always, I will always lift you people up in praise and, and all of those who stood that represented what I wanted to be and follow. Thank you so much for the example you set for all of us who chose to serve in the United States Marine Corps. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Here's a, um, a, uh, here is a, uh, a medal, like it'll stick on your door frame, and it kind of you know, shows that he was a veteran. We'll give you that to you. Okay, that's a medal. And I'm going to hope that you all. My heart. Well, I appreciate it. to be here to represent you. Yes. 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 Y